Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the Ghostbusters manga. <clears throat> now, really, who doesn't love Ghostbusters? I mean, you got, you know, the movies are just fantastic. You got a, you know, nice uh, premise with the whole Ghostbusting angle and you have nice characters with, you know, uh, you know, you got Ray, the sort of child at heart, uh, Peter, who's the ladies' man, uh, Winston, the everyman, and Egon, the nerd, you know? <clears throat> It's just, and of course, the movies are fantastic, and so on and so forth, and yeah. <clears throat> and of course, like with most uh, stuff that is really good, although tragically not all, this thing was, uh, you know, made into like a bunch of different movies, I mean like a bunch of different video games, some uh, mo uh, sequel, and, um, and even uh, two animated series. And, of course, the subject that I'm talking about right here, the Ghostbusters manga. The story is basically, um, <clears throat> takes place, um, an unknown amount of time after the second movie. And one of the characters, Jack Hardemeyer, who's, he was the, like, mayor's assistant who, like, you know, uh, had them committed for very stupid reason, for some stupid reasons, which I could probably put a whole another video in talking about it but um anyway um he his, he's been fired and his life has pretty much been ruined and now he blames the Ghostbusters so he uh overall so we <clears throat> hire so he comes and finds uh, some ghosts and gives and gets gets them a, like a sort of proposition to essentially bust the busters and uh you know one by one, the Busters, the Ghostbusters, goes down until eventually it all boils down to Winston, who saves the day with a combination of his usual uh, <clears throat> of the go regular Ghostbusting gear as well as a freaking machine gun. You know, and it's just really great, awesome, and yeah. There are also a couple of sh shorter stories attached to this. There's the first one, the Theater of Pain, where the Ghostbusters are. Um, trying to uh, stop this critic from the ghost of a art critic from you know ruining this play that the, that's being made and the other one is the devil wears nada where there's this fashion designer that that like hit the world by storm and their, their ghostbusters are you know suspecting supernatural shenanigans are afoot which they are and um, yeah Overall, the <clears throat> Ghostbuster and Banga that is just fantastic. I mean, you have uh, great writing, great art for the most part. You know, I, mean, I wasn't really crazy about how the people were drawn in the in Theater of Pain. I thought it was kind of grimy, though. I'm, I know I'm not really much. I not even I'm not that as good as that person is, but. Yeah, I wasn't really all that crazy about how they draw, how they drew the people. I think a lot of these pe, like some or some of these designs, I think even I could probably design. And that, but for the most part, you know, there's like really good imagery, and that's really, and you know, it looks really creepy and just cool and awesome. And uh, but aside from this one story, like really the art and all the stories are just fantastic and uh, the writing is also great too um, I might talk about my uh, favorite part it would be chapter 4 which revolves around Egon and um, you know he's being contacted by one of his old uh, by his old uh, teacher and they're <clears throat> getting into essentially what it's like for the ghost to be captured and imprisoned and stuff and it was just really fantastic with how, like, it really does get pretty emotional. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, you know, great art for the most part. You know, fantastic writing. It actually almost feels like I'm watching what could be almost thought of as, like, the the uh, Ghostbusters equivalent to Wrath of Khan. I mean, not as good as that, but the sort of, like, close enough equivalent. You know... Overall, my rating for this is a 5 out of 5. Definite recommendation. <clears throat> Even if there is some uh, 
like the continuity thing about like how this guy's ruined his life about how the Jack claims that the Ghostbusters have ruined his life but even then it's not really that important to overall enjoy everything it is just fantastic check it out it's great yeah anyway next time we're gonna be taking a look at zombies yes there's still more zombie stuff coming out yeah a anyway um till next time see you later have a nice day and you know please support your local bookstores and libraries with you know donations and volunteering and money and so forth yeah until then and oh and have a nice day